Today I'm going to be making some Alphabets cereal bars. You will find the link to uh, this recipe um, on my blog. It's TammyDunn.net and uh, so you'll be able to click there and go to the written instructions. But you will need a box of Alphabets cereal. This is a 12 ounce box. You will need some Kool-Aid. Uh, this is Tropical Punch powder because you need a one third cup. You need uh, half a stick of butter and uh, this is a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows now um, I had to use a, in a if you buy one box of alphabet cereal that will be eight cups and you will have plenty for this recipe Kevin and I did a review of the alphabet cereal so we only had seven cups left so in order to make up the remaining cup I put in a cup of um, Cheerios so there's seven cups of alphabets, one cup of Cheerios. It's okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your butter and you want to melt it in the pan. And next we're going to take our marshmallows. After the butter's melted, we're going to take our marshmallows and we're going to add them to the pan. Okay, so my butter is, it's almost melted. There's just a little bit left. So I'm going to add this entire bag of marshmallows and you're going to end up, you're going to melt your marshmallows and your Kool-Aid powder, your third cup. Put that in there as well. And now we're gonna uh, melt these. Also, you, have, you need a nine by 13 inch pan. It is a glass pan and it's just a lasagna pan, but you could use a cake pan. Um, and we put parchment, uh, parchment paper so that it wouldn't stick. You want to stir like you see me doing. You want to stir it constantly. And I have it on a higher heat. You could do it lower, but it's it's gonna bubble, so you need to be careful. So now you wanna turn that off, come right over to your cereal, and pour this over your cereal. Now you're gonna coat all your pieces. using a large bowl <laughs> this is a lot of cereal and it's uh, it's very sticky and it starts cooling off quickly so you need to work fast so now I'm gonna pour it into my uh, pan I mean it's already uh, wanting to stick to the bottom of this pan that's that's how um, how quickly it cools off so you just you just have to be ready with everything um, so that you're not uh, fumbling I sprayed my spoon with cooking spray so that this would not stick and Kevin's taking my clips off for me <laughs> off the side of my sticky. pan um, but it's uh, it it wants to stick it, it cools off very quickly so but putting that uh, cooking spray on there really helped so you just want to mash this into the pan mash it but don't mash it too much <laughs> and then we're just gonna let this sit until it is completely cools off and you can cut it into bars or the recipe uh, that I read said that if you had like um, alphabet cookie cutters since these are called alphabets if you had like uh, ABC or something like that you could uh, cut them out into those shapes personally I think that might be a little hard to do but I think it's it would be a cute idea but we're just gonna cut them into bars and uh, so when it's cooled off we'll be back so these are completely uh, cooled now and I'm I have a cutting board here uh, just so that I can lay it on look look how easy that came out that came out like it was nothing and my pans clean um, let me tell you that you will want to wash your bowls that you use as soon as you are finished mixing this up because this this it's sticky and 
it leaves all from all those marshmallows you know that's what binds it together and so it leaves a lot of stickiness in your bowl so I'm just gonna cut these up into bars and um, like I said I read on that post the recipe post um, that they use like letters and that you could cut this out now that I am cutting this I don't see how you could do that. I think it would be very hard uh, to cut these into any shapes because it is, it, it's still kind of tacky to the touch, but it's also very firm and my knife is, is sharp and I'm having to use a little bit of force uh, to cut these. So I don't, I would not, if you make these, I would not plan on using, cutting them into shapes is all that I'm saying. So let me get one up here. We'll see how it looks. Oh, they're so pretty. And you could use any flavor, just so you know. I bought Tropical Punch, but you could use any flavor, Kool-Aid at all. So I'm gonna get uh, these over on a plate and Kevin and I will try one. Okay, you saw the cereal bars when I was cutting them. I oh, cut like them a little macaroni bit. Macaroni from the side. Now they- yeah, still sticky. They are, they are tacky and I don't know, it has been several hours. Yeah, cause so, I went to a meeting. Yeah, so I do not think they would get any firmer than this. Oh, hmm. Which is unusual for marshmallows. Mm -hmm. They're not like macaroni, they just cut. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm. It's very, very sweet. Um, I like the flavor of the cereal. And even though there's only a cup of Cheerios, I can taste the difference between the alphabets and the Cheerios. Yeah. I don't know if I like that fruit punch in there. I don't mind it. But it is, it is different. It, uh, it does... The thing I don't like is the stickiness. It does give it a fruit punchy flavor. So mm -hmm. if you like that flavor, I think you would like it. And as I was telling you yeah. earlier when I was cutting them up, I think if you know you like grape, buy grape. If you know you like blue raspberry, buy, buy blue raspberry or, or whatever. Cherry or, or whatever. cherry or orange or whatever. I bought Tropical Punch because that's what was on the recipe uh, the website that I got and once again, I will I will post a link to that on my blog um, The only the bad thing about these is they're they're just they're very sticky. They're very messy. <laughs> yeah, they're very very sticky, but they are sweet mm -hmm. um, They're good. They the cereal is a little big Uh-huh <laughs> The cereal's a little big to like bite into, mm -hmm. whereas Rice Krispie Treats, which is the closest thing to this, they're very, the cereal's very small. Mm -hmm. So you can easily bite through them. These are kind of big and chunky. Right. Even if you made them thinner and smaller, it would still be a, a chunkier cereal to bite through. I think it's good though, it's sweet. I'm sitting it's here It's good, again. it's worth trying out. It's um, different. I, don't, the, I wish there was some way to make them less big, sticky, but beyond that. That's the only that thing. Know. And I don't know why they're that sticky, because usually, Rice Krispie treats are they made of up. yeah marshmallow cream yeah and they're usually not the sticky so I don't know why but they are sticky just know that but if you want something different something that would be easy for your kids to help make this would be fun for them to do yeah, I so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.